Hey, what's up, Ezra Patterson? Yo, do. Hey, what's up, my little Tabitha's? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Steve Harvey, there seems to be some tension in the household. Now, I know we're going to read the reports that everybody's jealous of Lori Harvey and her career, but it looks like the sins of the father are being revisited on the children. What am I talking about? Let's get into this, but it sounds like there's still a lot of tension because Marjorie and the ex-wives, or at least I'm betting the second ex-wife of Steve Harvey are still button heads let's get into the support and then i'm going to give you take you back to some old school gossip history about what is happening and why it might be happening now get this they say game show icon steve harvey dealing with his own family feud tensions and blended bro drives him crazy Longtime TV personality Steve Harvey, pay attention to this, can always anticipate the top answers on the board when it comes to hosting his family game show family feud i see somebody had to make 500 characters or less but when he's dealing with his own sparred loved ones at home it's been an issue radar online has learned that the talkative star has its hands full with his blended broad and form of flames behind closed doors he said steve's got four biological kids with two previous wives and three step kids with his current wife marjorie and he said that it's driving him crazy so he has seven children in total Sharon twins Brandy and Carly as well as son Broderick with his first wife Marcia. Okay, here it comes. Steve also shares son Winton with ex Mary Shackelford, his second wife, and three stepchildren Morgan, Jason, and Lori with his current wife. The source claims there has been unfortunately, right, unfortunately been some jealousy lingering amongst the siblings over Lori, who's, who's the most famous of all Steve's kids, taking over the spotlight with her high profile love life. Lori recently made headlines for her budding romance with Snowfall actor Damson Idris, following the split from Hollywood heartthrob Michael B. Jordan. They said Steve did the right thing adopting Marjorie's kids and loves them like his own, but there's a lot of dissension among the blended Harvey clan. Now here comes the real juice. Plus, the source claims that Steve's wife and exes can butt heads at times because she rules the roost at the Harvey abode, right? Now, ruling the roost just means that she controls the household and a lot of things that means she also controls the money in Steve's pocketbook. But listen to this. They said as for how Steve is coping with the turmoil between his loved ones, it's alleged that his way of handling it all has been to throw money at them, buy them gifts, or just go into another room to chomp on a cigar, but it's not working. Now, now that you have this, let's go into the gossip history. Why isn't it working? Because if you don't know, right? Um, if you don't know, Marjorie Harvey, Marjorie Harvey, right? at one time was accused by Shackelford, Steve's second wife, accused of being the other woman. And she blasted Steve for being a serial cheater, if you will. Okay, fine. But this is what y'all need to, this is what I think is going on. I'm gonna read you all the report and let me know what you think. There might be some dissension because Lori Star is rising. Why is Lori Star rising? Because Lori is well managed. Why is Lori well managed? Because her mom takes on a big portion in controlling her image, how she's portrayed, what she's done. Don't forget when Lori got on the runway, when she was a model for like Dulce and Gabbana. Lori's mom is very involved in how her career is run, okay? Marjorie is one of the big reasons Lori is such a big deal and a socialite. The other children might be feeling some type of way because Lori stars rising, but not because they're jealous of Lori. That's such a simple take on it. It's because maybe they want the attention and resources that they get that Lori has gotten, okay? That would require Steve to hire. Now again, that's Marjorie, Lori, they got that family relationship. That would require Steve to take an interest and hire people that can also push his other career kids' careers up or require Marjorie to take an interest. Now, maybe Marjorie doesn't know how to push the career up. Maybe she knows how to make a socialite, but if they're not trying to make a socialite, she's like, well, I don't really know um, what you want me to say, right? 
that I think is the issue. But when it comes to butt, butting heads, right? So it's kind of like, Steve, you're gonna have to pay people to do what Marjorie does or get Marjorie to help out the other kids. But again, it could be just not because she's not willing, but because she doesn't know what to do. But let's also think about why tensions are actually going on because they don't understand how someone that they think should be at the bottom because they look at Marjorie as the other woman that came and broke up the marriage and getting so much power over the household. Now, let me tell you something. Marjorie Harvey is not to be played with. There were rumors that Kris Jenner tried to get a relationship going with Steve Harvey, because you know, if the rumors can be believed, the Kardashians were trying to do what they do best, you know, trade favors for men with power and influence to help them. This is around the time that Kris wanted to get her talk show on and popping. Marjorie heard these rumors and shut that mess down lickily lickety split i think marjorie harvey if the rumors are true are one of the oh go watch my playlist it's on the playlist are one of the only people that could have survived the kardashian curse now listen to this things got so contentious in the plan between steve in the past between steve and his old wife marjorie harvey actually planned to sue steve harvey's ex-wife baby they could keep making this about Lori and the kids i think this is about the moms they said Marjorie Harvey, the wife of radio host and SS, uh, and SS columnist Steve Harvey, doesn't take too kindly to being called the other woman. The philanthropist, a mom of three, has retained a lawyer after Steve's ex-wife, Mary Shackelford, took to YouTube to air out her grievances against Steve. And one of the YouTube videos, um, Shaq Mary labeled Harvey a serial cheater and accuses Marjorie of carrying on an affair with her husband while they're still married. Let me tell you something. Steve Harvey is the epitome, in my opinion, of a Libra man. He will provide, he will protect, he will be your best friend, but just know there's going to be 30 people the same, but he provided, protected, and was around me all the time. What's the issue? They said in one of the YouTube videos, Mary, um, listen, Mary labeled Harvey a serial cheater and accused uh, Marjorie of carrying on an affair with her husband while she was still married. More importantly, they said Mrs. Steve Harvey is shocked and dismayed. Mind you, this Steve works at that time, worked for Essence. This article is in Essence. Mrs. Steve Harvey, you better let her know, is shocked and dismayed that Mar Mary Harvey, Steve's ex-wife, posted the malicious and baseless video on YouTube. This was an official statement Marjorie released. The posting is nothing more than a sad attempt to, um, to marry, wait, a sad attempt at Mary to make herself relevant to the eyes of the media. Now that the pub publicity splash is over, Mrs. Harvey looks forward to making her case in court. As a what she says, as a wife and mother, I cannot stand back and allow the defamation of my character or actions that will malign my family. So I'll do what I need to do with the, to the greatest extent of the law. They said Steve didn't remain uh, quiet either. He said yesterday he took to his radio show to tell his side of the story. That part that's hurtful is this: is that my wife and children had to be drugged into this. If you're going to be vindictive, go ahead and aim it at me. But my son is coming in the room crying, and that's also her son. So why would you do this? But again, all great points, Steve. But did you cheat on her with Marjorie? And if you did, now that Marjorie rules the roost, and that means she rules the finances, and all you do is just go and make the money, and you're doing everything Marjorie tells you, now that leads me to believe that even though they're trying to say that they're jealous of Lori, I think the real issue is they're feeling some type of way that their dad's resources and assets are they do not feel are being evenly distributed to all of them. And again, they said it, Marjorie, or Saru's. At the end of the day, they're making this about women and this and that. I'll just say this, Steve, get your house in order. Get your house in order. If they feel like things are unfair, if they feel like other people have more attention, give them the same resources. Can you promise them a career? Can you promise them that they'll be on par? with Lori? Of course not. Who knows if they even want to be socialized? But Steve, this is your fault. Get your house in order, man. Get your house in order. But we know he ain't going up against Miss Marjorie Harvey. Listen, if she could take on, allegedly, the Kardashians and come out the winner, you know she ain't nothing to be messed with. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will talk to you later.